Well, hey, good morning. Trying out a new little phone thingy instead of my usual stand. We'll see how this works. Hopefully it's not all gonna fall off. <laughs> okay, so yesterday I reviewed the discontinued line of Nespresso variations. The specific capsule was Vanillo, which was replaced with Vanilla Eclair. And I didn't particularly like it. And I had a lot of comments. Some people said, well, maybe it was a bad capsule or maybe it was too old, things like that. But I know a lot of people who get old capsules, even as far back as uh, even like 2013, and they've never had any problem with them. So I did a little more research on the internet and I found something interesting. I found a few comments where people said, I don't like it that the Vanillo was discontinued and replaced with Vanilla Eclair. I don't like the Vanilla Eclair. The Vanillo had a hint of bitterness that kind of gave it a kick and that's what made it so wonderful. Isn't that interesting? Because it was kind of that bitterness um, that I didn't really like. But I did read uh, one person's review who just raved about Vanillo, and um, she said, uh, my husband is Italian and we drink espresso at our house all the time. And one of my favorites is the Vanillo. I put a little cinnamon on it, on top, and I mix it with froth 30 calorie almond milk. Well, I'm all out of my 30 calorie almond milk. I've got the 50 calorie, but I thought, let me go ahead and use this 45 calorie, whoops, oat milk and see how that does. So let me get this frothing here. Okay, I'm gonna try it the way the lady suggested. Let me pop this back in the fridge. <clears throat> okay, and I'll go ahead and brew this vanilla. I'm going to do two coffees this morning. So, by the way, uh, the vanilla is made from Central and South American Arabicas. It's an intensity of six with about 68 milligrams of caffeine. And um, when I'm done with this, I'm also going to do one of the other ones from the variations line that was discontinued. This is Caramelito, and it was replaced, I believe, with Caramel Cream Brulee, which is one that I have really enjoyed. So we'll see how this one does. But right now, here we've got, okay, we've got the Vanillo again, just kind of, I give it one more taste with nothing in it. You know how I always say to try something several times. There's just something in this and I think it is that bitterness that I just don't care for. So, I've got my frothed milk here. Let me go ahead and pour some in with the vanilla. Okay. Mmm, that looks nice. If you remember yesterday, the froth that was made with that Simply Almond, which was a new milk that I tried, came out as a very stiff froth, but you could see that this one is nice and creamy. In fact, yesterday I had to spoon the froth out because it was so stiff, it wouldn't even pour out on its own. Okay, I'll give this a try since yesterday I used a different kind of milk, but we we'll give it a fair chance here. Just close that for now. 
Okay, so, my goodness, okay. Are you having problems? I don't know. Let's push this out of the way for the moment. All right, I, I will say that this is more acceptable to me today, but you know, I try a lot of different coffees and the first time I'll try many of them, I go, wow, yeah, I like this. I like it for this and that reason. But this one, I didn't like for this and that reason, but we'll see. And hey, good morning to those of you who are watching and joining me for coffee here. Thank you, it always cheers me up so much to spend this time with you. Let's see, can you see it if I put it here? All right, I don't wanna have a disaster. Okay, so I've got a little cinnamon here and I'm gonna just go ahead and sprinkle it on. Okay, that's really very, very pretty, isn't it? So, ah, oh, the cinnamon aroma is lovely. So now, some people like to go ahead and drink their latte or cappuccino or whatever it is they have without stirring in the cinnamon. I like to go ahead and give it a stir, and I'll tell you why. Because cinnamon does not dissolve. Mmm. And some of it is always going to remain on top. Mmm, I can still smell it. Oh dear, have I turned this into a cinnamon coffee? Well, let me give it a try. I still have that cinnamon on, on the back of my, the roof of my mouth here. Maybe I like to do how the, what do the wine people do? They take a swig of water and swish it around and spit it out. I don't think I have to go that far. <clears throat> okay. So, you know what? Again, I gotta say, this is just not consistently powerful enough for me. I don't know, it's, you know, and I think part of it is that there's a bitterness to it that I don't care for. I'm gonna put this aside, okay? And I am going to make the caramelito now. So we still have froth here. Okay, we'll let the machine heat up. Okay, it's ready. You know, it's a little bit funny. Um, I once read a little review that somebody did of the machine itself, and they said, they just love it when they hear the little popping of the capsule when the machine pierces it because it's a vacuum packed capsule and when the machine pierces it, there's like a, I can't reproduce the sound myself. And I had never really paid attention before and ever since I read that, I've been paying attention and I, I like it. Okay, <clears throat> so let's see what we've got here. A mild crema. Okay, I'm not sure if I'm detecting caramel or not. But that's okay, because I'm not gonna snort this up. I'm gonna drink it, right? Okay. All right, listen, this has the same flavor that I don't care for. Um, we'll put a little froth in. Okay, there's milk. All right, let's get some of this froth in here. Um, I'll 
sort of stack things up here so you can see. All right. So this is the froth that's left after um, the more liquid part of the milk has settled out. Okay, and you know, I always like a latte. So we'll mix this in. And the one thing I haven't done is I, well, I'll try it like this, but you know, I always say, if you sweeten it, then sometimes that'll bring out the flavors. And I will try that with this caramelito. You know, I think, do I have some caramel cream brulee or did I use that all up? Um, oh golly, you know what? I do not, no, I don't have any. I thought I did. Oh, that's Voluto. But I remember that I liked it pretty well. So here goes. All right, I will say this is better for me than the Vanilio was with the same oat milk. Would I buy this though? If this was still for sale, I wouldn't because it's not very, doesn't distinguish itself to my taste buds. But it's okay, you yeah? know, it's, it's an okay coffee. I guess I sort of like to have a standout coffee. You know, one that when I drink it, I go, wow. And you know, Something like Napoli for me has been that way. This is pretty good, and I don't know, you know, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna, should I put simple syrup or caramel syrup? Well, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead now, down here. Oh, I put my hands right on it. I've got some Jordan Skinny Syrup, and it's the caramel syrup. And hey, there's a new bunch of people watching, good morning. I can't see, let me see, can I see names here? Sandy, Phyllis, Cammie, Kevin, David. Good morning to all of y'all. Again, I can't see all the names, but th these I can see, and those I can't see. Good morning to you too. All righty, so let's, there we go. And for those of you who just tuned in, I'm using a new little setup here for my, um, phone, and you know, I'm hoping it's not going to give up the ghost here and just drop off onto the floor. But uh, you know, we'll see if maybe this gives a better view. So let me know what you think. Oh, golly, that tastes good. Oh, my goodness, this tastes really good. You know what, I'm gonna do. I'm going to try putting some caramel uh, skinny syrup into just a tad because I already drank a bunch of that. Okay, so and see if it helps the vanilla. Do I have any more milk in here? There we go. Okay. Let's see. This makes it a little better, but I gotta tell you, the caramelito with a little bit of caramel syrup and the froth milk, mmm. And this is something I find interesting. <clears throat> this Jordan Skinny Syrup, the caramel flavor. I normally do not detect a very strong caramel flavor when I put it in other coffees. So in a way, you know, I've been a little disappointed in it, but in this Caramelito, woohoo! Mmm, that is, oh, 
This is so good. Now, I don't like the idea of having to put a syrup in a coffee to get a flavor. However, this is like going and getting a specialty coffee drink at a coffee shop without all the cost, of course. And it's so easy to make. So, you know, sometimes using a syrup or um, herbs and spices and chocolate and ice cream and all kinds of things that you can put in coffee in your own home, that's okay to do. This would be awesome as a dessert coffee, this Caramelito with a little bit of caramel syrup and the frothed milk. And um, it's nice as a, you know, a sweet breakfast coffee too. So notice that the milk I use is a 45 calorie oat milk. Sometimes some coffees taste better if you use a richer milk with higher fat content, especially, you know, or if you use cream or at least half and half. But I don't like to spend all those calories on something that I'm going to drink fairly quickly. I would rather chew my calories. So if you've got any caramelitos sitting around, this is good stuff. Um, I'll have to order some more caramel cream brulee. I think that's the current one. You know, what happens is these sort of standard flavors that people like, and it is a flavored coffee. It's coffee plus flavoring, uh, but no sugar. Nespresso does not put sugar in any of their coffee capsules. They will put flavors in some, and that is listed, you know, that it's a flavored coffee. Um, and you can see it in the ingredients list too. So um, standard flavors are things like vanilla and caramel and chocolate. I would say those are the pretty standard ones. So in the variations line that the Vanillo was in and the Caramelito was in was a Chocotino, which was replaced, I believe, with Cocoa Truffle. Now, if I'm, you know, sometimes it's hard to keep track because every few years, Nespresso will replace some of these standard flavors with other flavors that are similar. You know, just like I said, that there were people who said, oh no, you know, Vanilla was replaced with Vanilla Eclair and I don't like it, give us back Vanilla. So, you know, they make little changes and they make little changes to the names and sometimes it can be a little confusing. So, and also people will misspell things on the internet, like the Vanilla uh, from the var variations line, uh, which is what all this and this are from, is spelled with two L's, but a lot of people spell it with one L. And I was thinking, well, maybe Nespresso put out a one L Vanilio and a two L one. Anyhow, same general vanilla flavors, but vanilla people, some of them obviously are gonna like one line over another. Caramel, same thing. Chocolate, same thing. So, uh, cheers. I hope that you're enjoying whatever coffee you're drinking this morning. Oh, don't mix it up. The vanilla goes there. Mm. Oh, I am going to enjoy that with my breakfast this morning. I hope you have a wonderful day.